Hello there, Soaring here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance for the buzzing microphone. I am well aware of that. So, I'm gonna go through uh, Kureta or Kyrie. Um, both pronunciations should be fine. Um, we're just gonna go through the phrase book I uh, here have here on Con Workshop. I joined recently, like within the last three or four days, and I've been working on it quite a bit. Um, I'm going to take a look at the page here. If I can click the correct link, right? Um, and I have some translations done. I have quite a bit of information. I have even have an article or two written. I have my uh, orthography. It's all, um, that's a custom made font. I made specifically for this purpose. Um, if you if you want to if you want to know how to make fonts or um, need software to do that or anything like that, you can always message me if I can give you that information. Um, I might even post it in the link below. I just can't like distribute pirated software if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go over to the phrase book and I'm gonna go through the you know the standard phrases that we have here. I'm gonna explain them a little bit at a time. So, I'm um, going to go through the understanding section. So, I don't understand. So, there's no, there's no compli uh, complicated language here. The words are I, don't, and understand. And the, the structure in uh, Curetta is that you have uh, the speaker, or the primary subject, um, a verb or some kind of um, conjugate or um, I'm trying to think adverb, something like that, um, uh, followed by uh, the thing that um, you're talking about. So uh, you are the speaker. Uh, you are talking about not understanding. So that would go on the end. And then uh, how do you not understand? And that was is that you don't. It's just a negative. I hope that made sense. Oh, I'll go through all these. So here is um, G, which is I. Um, G and G are all that. Um, those pronunciations, they're all equivalent, so you can use either of them. Um, a gu uh, means to to have a boolean false. So uh, that is just no. So basically this sentence says I know understand. And then ga is um, an affirmative, right? So is as in it's a boolean true and uh, xi which is pronounced she is knowledge. So this translates to I uh, do not have absolute knowledge. So it's, I don't understand. Um, that's, it's very, very clear, but it's, um, it's dumbed down. This is the word understand. So all the particles fit together in some way. And then here we have the same thing. I don't, and then the language name. And what about that language name? You speak that language. So it is um, subject, verb, object, and your modifiers are in between the verb and the object. Does that make sense so far? Hopefully. Um, so it's I, do not, this means to speak or to talk or to make sound. Um, if it's in front of a subject, it must be spoken. So that must mean the word speak. Um, this KY is, um, is K, right? Or ku, kareta, right? That's why um, kareta has uh, ky in front of it because this actually means ky means specific subject. So, if you're talking about a subject like a study or something like that, or a language, or um, if you're talking about the subject of chemistry, it would have ky in front of it, um, which is pronounced. Uh, it's the, the vowels are um, a, e, 
E, O, U, and A. Uh. So that is K. And then language after it would be the name of your language. So it could be K English or K French. But in this case, um, uh, Reda is the it means communication in Kureta. So the subject of communication means language, and thus Kureta means also the word language. Got me so far. So if you are talking about the subject Kureta, if you're learning it in school or something like that, it would be Ku Kureta. So uh, it's just based on the language name is Kureta. If you're talking about the subject and learning that language, it would be ku ku reta. You just duplicate the ku. Um, or a uh, ka reta. Ku is ku. I'm still working out my own pronunciation. I only speak a little ku reta. That is I. This is speak. I speak. Little. Tu is um, is little, small, less than. Uh, ta is greater than. Um, ti, which is t, is equal to. And then, um, kureta. So the only there, uh, if it's if it's only, as in. Uh, this is a figurative only. It's not an exact only. So if you're saying, I only have one, right? That means you have no more. If you're saying, I only speak a little, right? Um, it doesn't mean that the only language you know is a little bit of Kureta. It's saying figuratively, I only know a little bit of this language. So this only is just dropped because the information in the sentence is already implied. So any implied implied information is dropped from the language entirely. That includes all articles and uh, a lot of tenses and a lot of transitive verbs. Um, so please talk slower. So let's work through this. Um, he wants you to talk slower, right? So this is talk. So talk, um, please talk or please slowly talk. That's what that is. Um, please is um, a good asking. So, uh, we means good. Uh, ba means to ask. Um, so that is just please. It's very simple. Um, slower is, uh, fee means to slow down. Um, this is more slowly, so slower. And uh, sa is to talk, as we learned that here. You have, please repeat that. So, please repeat what you have said before. So, if um, sy is at the end, if it's behind um, a, a verb, which is to repeat, then it uh, takes on the form that it means that and um, speak as well. So it depends on the it depends on the part of speech here, right? And um, it has some sort of a, a play structure there. And you'll get the hang of it um, if you if you <laughs> if you watch through this whole series. So. This is repeat, and repeat's an easy word to learn because it is uh, nana, right? Then say that second part again. So this is say, right? And this is again, right, to repeat. Then what must this mean? What must this mean? So uh, ha, hanu, right, is the number two. If so, second, or the second in a series. So this is second. This is say that. This is part of. 
So say uh, or second, say again that part. So say the second part again. Pardon, this is literally the word pardon. Um, there's not much you need to know more than that. This is um, like an ancillary greeting. And then the speaking this, um, this is spoken to a person, you're addressing them. So this is always going to be the address, addressing of a, of a proper noun or, or noun person. Um, if you're if you're like addressing a a non sentient organism, right? Um, you would use uh, in I here. Could you write that down, please? So there oh, we're learning a, a little bit more, and this is. This is could, as in, is it possible for you? So, je is uh, means possible, maybe, uh, likely. So, it also means could if it's at the beginning of the sentence. And if it is structuring a question, it will that particle will always be at the beginning of a sentence. And then, this is you. Um, this is to write down, and this would be um, that thing that I'm referring to. And I've just noticed a mistake um, that I did not say, please, because <laughs> I think I didn't uh, think it was actually necessary. So this is could, please, you, that thing, write that down. Could you write that down again, please? Well, could you write that down, please? Not again. If it had it again in it, it would have this word. So, Do you speak another language? This is you speak this language. And then I forgot to put the period at the end. Um, that This denotes the end of a sentence. Um, any kind of... Um, any kind of uh, soleus, so that would be fine. Uh, technically, you could use a period as well on my font to support it. So if you forget, it'll it'll just correct itself. Um, go down to greetings. This is ni, which means hello. Um, the knights who say ni are now the knights who say hello. Um, it's easy enough to remember. Remember. Um, good morning. This is good. We we learned that up here when we said. Um, good then this is good uh, asking so this is just the word good this is morning which means the beginning of the day so she means day and then uh, p means the beginning of the beginning of the day is the morning so here we learn that same thing you have day so good day it's literal um, evening, right? If you're like saying this is um, the beginning of the night, right? If you wanted the end of something, you could also use pu. So you could say the end of the day, right? Which is technically like dusk or like twilight, um, but um, it would mean the same thing. So if you used um, uh, uh, pusha. Uh, that would also mean the the end of the day or have a good end of the day, good evening. It all it's all the same. Um, then you have you also um, hello. So to you also hello. This other um, this is to which would be also. Um, also and to have the same also is is always na and then I'm not sure if I have two in the dictionary um, I have tool but and then down here we have uh, you also have a good morning so and I apologize for the squeakiness of my desk as well I'm trying not to type too much. I'm going to save it here because I don't remember if I saved offhand. 
And I'm going to do uh, a couple sections at a time. I might make this one continuous recording in multiple parts. Um, so if you have to skip over to another video, just know that it's because my graphics card, or um, rather it's, it's not my computer, but um, the graphics card in this computer is um, recording it and it cuts it into um, like 30 minute parts or something like that automatically. So if that happens, I apologize. How are you? So, uh, Q means how or or how so or addressing a question that is asking a way in which something is done. That will always lead a, lead a question. So, if if, there, if you're asking a question, there's always going to be a single particle word in front of it. Always, in the exception of this one because it's um it's not it's actually a uh, this is a sentence fragment, so. How are, this is are, is, um, all of those, uh, it's like adverb, I'm not sure the, the actual part of speech of that, but this is is or are equal to, and this is you, so that's easy enough. Uh, I'm good. Uh, this language makes no distinguish be distinguishment between I, am, or we. If you mean a plural, you will have to add a plural marker after it, and um, we can we can go through how that's done. But if you absolutely must say that something is plural, we there is a way to do that. Um, but uh, typically, it's just dropped. Am is a particle. We don't use that either. So this is I good, I am fine, which is um, not necessarily good, right? So there is a particle um, good here in fine or in uh, pet in this uh, in this context uh, means something that is figurative. When somebody says that they're fine, they're usually not fine. <laughs> um, so we keep that joke in the language. Then I not a great or better than usual. That's um, This is better, greater, more than. So I'm not great, uh, it's that simple, not hard to learn. I am sick, this is, um, this is woe, right? This is good, woe means bad. Uh, K means, K means um, of the body. So if you have a bad body, you're sick. It's that simple. How are you? Um, and is completely ignored because it's ancillary information. So you have how, are, you, or are you, what is new. Uh, this is asking what, whenever you ask, you know, what is this object, or uh, what are you doing on my couch, or what is new. This is always going to lead uh, the question what. So you have the boo particle and uh, sha means new, and then you have what's up, which is um, that same particle leads a what question, followed by tha means up, um, fu means down. Uh, if you say you're not moving anywhere, you're actually um, fi. If you are going through something, it's fa as in f y. And then the slang is fafa, which means literally up and up. So to continue upward, and if you're going to use that in, in speech, um, you would just say fafa, and then you'd have that, um, you know, fafa. But uh, we typically don't use when you're writing something down or speaking, the actual particles, um, the sound of those particles make up the, the content of the sentence. If the speaker is particularly angry, you get the inflection from that, but the words are more important than the inflection the words, uh, the words have on them. So the stressors, they don't matter at all. All that matters is if they're pronounced correctly. Then you have, excuse me, so this is, um, you are in my way. Uh, I have used this secondary. 
as in you are in my way. There's two different kinds of excuse me. Excuse me as in uh, sorry, I'm in your way, and or excuse me, like sorry, you're in my way. So um, this is you, Fefe, are blocking my path. This means are blocking my path or obstructing my path. I am trying to move forward, fe, and when there is a suffix at the end, it is a blockage of moving forward. So it's that simple. Um, you can also say there is a, uh, a blockage of you moving upward, right, which is fa fe, and then a blockage of you moving downward, which is fu fe or fo fe. And then you have excuse me. This is this means sorry. I am bad. That is sorry. I am a bad person. <laughs> Actually, to say I am a bad person, you'd end that with the particle that literally means person. So, but I am bad, which means sorry. And then fefe. Um, I am sorry that I was in your way. That is literally the translation of that sentence. I am sorry that. Your bluff, your your path, I had blocked. So, and then please is we've learned that before. Weba, thank you. This is um, uh, saying a good thing, right? To thank, and then Joe, which means you. So, thank you. This is you are welcome. So this is um, uh, it's a three particle word here which means good and to say something good and fe to move forward or to end the conversation. So this is you're welcome. And then uh, when fe is in the middle particle between two others, um, it complicates its meaning further. So all particles in Kureta have, um, there's 140, uh, 114 of them. Um, they mean different things if they're at the beginning of a word or at the end of a word. So all the concepts here are fusional. If you want to say um, you are welcome, this would also be acceptable. Um, the only rule is that no particle in Kubeta can be longer than, or no word in Kubeta can be longer than eight characters or four particles. And all particles um, have a consonant and vowel pair. So you'll learn that pretty quick. No problem. This is Gu, which means no, and you, we learn that above there. Um, problem. This is um, a, a complicated or complex um, bad situation. So this means complex and bad, which is a problem. Um, and then to not have a problem would be no problem. Also, that is acceptable. It means the same thing. And then in slang, um, this means there is no bad, right? So gu will. Uh, if you're going to say that in passing to someone, uh, you're not going to say no problem. You're just going to say no bad. There's nothing bad here. You're good. Um, that's what that means. Also, literally, you could say um, uh, jue, which means you're good. Um, then I am sorry. I, I am bad. I am sorry. Um, Ju means um, it is. So um, this is Jo, this is Ju. Ju uh, means it is, that is, um, this object here that I'm referring to. Um, that's what that means. And then we means okay or good. So that's all you need to know. There's a lot of compression of that information. And then I forgive you. This is I, uh, she of the mind. Um, uh, let's see here. Then of I and bad. So um, it's, it has a complex meaning. This here uh, of the I uh, of the mind and me. I have thought about the bad. So I have thought about the bad that has gone on, and that's forgiveness. Um, which is, it's a complicated word. Uh, that means, there are a lot of small words in English that would have very complex meaning. So, um, for example, war, the word W-A-R, war, um, which is a long-standing conflict between 
um, groups of people. In Cureta, you would have to say a long-standing conflict between two groups, and that would mean uh, it's a four-particle word. So small words have complex meanings, whereas um, some long words like anti-disestablishmentarianism um, would mean against the establishment of religion, which is a three-particle word in Cureta, which is it's interesting. So um, to continue onward, we have, and I apologize, I say um a lot. I, I know I'm trying to cut it, cut it down, but whenever I'm explaining something, I kind of, you know, stick that in there. If, uh, if you see, hear me say um, just pretend I'm saying it in Lojman. So here we have we, which means good, uh, hello, and you. So um, not even looking at it over here, I can say that it's um, have uh, hello, are you good kind of deal. And it's nice to meet you. So it was good. It was do good to greet you. This also means to greet or say hello. Uh, you can get the meaning of any sentence very quickly. This is boo. This is um, a name or what. This is uh, jo, which is you, and then uh, be is name. So this is what your name, literally. Be is only a name particle. Like, if you're referring to somebody's proper noun, somebody's identity is always be. You will never not refer to it that way. Be by itself means the word name. So when we're going to come down here, it says I name or named. This is my name. So you, whenever you're addressing your own name, my name is Sean. Um, so I would say be Sean always. So if I'm saying um, you, if somebody is calling you, they would say, you know, otherwise, hey, Soaring, come here, right? Um, so, you best Soaring, right? Your name, uh, my name is Soaring. And then, if you have, um, uh, you be Soaring, your name is Soaring. So, you have that. And, ji be and then the name. So that's enough. Don't need to know much more than that, really. So if you if you don't actually have to put the second particle here, saying that um, I am soaring. That's my identity. You don't have to say my name is. Um, you can just shorten it down. That's what this slang is for. Where are you from? This is key, which means a place, you, you are, um, from. So, uh, where are you, the place that you are, from? And it's very simple. This uh, key particle leads anything that would refer to a location, a place, and if it's at the beginning of a sentence, it must be referring to a question where. So if you're asking where an object is, uh, where are my shoes? Where is my car? Etc. That would be key. If you are from a location, I am from this location. Key always uh, like like be. Key always is in front of a location that has a proper noun. So I am from uh, Key London. So. It may get annoying to know that you have to put that particle in front of it, but it is very obvious that you're talking about a location. There's very little confusion here. So it's very hard to screw up the meaning of what somebody's saying, and that's the whole point of this language. It's annoying, but if everybody's doing it, it's equally annoying for everyone. So it's not too bad. Then you have Q, which is how. Uh, Shu, which is uh, old or what is your age, and then uh, Zhou or Zhou, which means you. So, what is how old are you? So, how old are you? And that's very simple. Um, although, and if you want, if you want 
Uh, how old are you? If you want to be literally are, you can put that in there. It's not necessary. It's dropped. How old you is perfectly understandable. I am a number of years, the number of years old. Okay, let's go through this again. I, a long time of a yearly cycle, who uh, huh, always is the, uh, at the beginning of a number. So you've seen up here when we were talking about second, Hanu, which is second, or two. We come down here to the number of how old you are. So for me, it's 25. Um, and then followed by Shu, which is old or age. Then you have um, Kuna Joe, which I can say immediately is how about you? And this um, na uh, replaces a lot of um, those pointless kind of, this is and how are you, this is and, and then it's also about. When it's in between two, two things, you can pretty much say that, see, how about you, and this is up here, how are you. It's the same particles. How about, how are about you, how about you, how are you. You know, actually, that's incorrect. Now that I think about it. <laughs> yeah, that's the word R, and is dropped. This is correct. So, yeah, I guess this is like a, a second a learning for me as to go back and correct that information. Because what I did is I put and there. This is also, this is and or about. And then I had put and, and or about, which needed to be dropped from the previous one. And that actually needed to be the R particle or how you is perfectly fine as well. And then this is name. So um, this object, this here, right, is and the name of that object. Um, so you can say this here is, you know, Bessoring. And then I have Zhu Gi. Gi means tangible. So this thing that is in reality uh, is that. You could also use um, that, though this is referring specifically to uh, an object or a person who is right next to you. So it's good. What time is it? So bu means current. Sha means time. This question is what time? What is this? <laughs> what time is it right now? And to respond to that, ju is or it is. Then then uh, a number, which would be the first number of hours, followed by the, a secondary number of minutes. And it's in an hour minute format. This is the play structure to that kind of sentence. Uh, you could say it is 2.30, right? The number two and the number 30, which would bo both be um, in front of uh, have those in front of it, right? Because you're saying two different numbers. But in this case, uh, specifically for the time of day, um, the first, when referring to time, this is the particle that means time. So what time? This means time. And the first number that would follow that is the number of hours. And this is the number of minutes. So this is more formal than it is anything else. Um, it just tells the speaker whenever you say uh, instead of saying it is 2.30, right? You know, what is 2.30? 30? 
the time is 2.30. So you don't have to say, you don't have to say it's a time. You, you can pretty, pretty much, if, if I say it is 2.30, you're gonna know that it's, uh, it is not the number two and it is not the number 30. It is a time meaning 2.30, likely p.m. Um, so you don't have to give all that information. And you can even uh, change uh, one of the particles here to say if it's a.m. or p.m. Whereas um, xu would be night, uh, she would be day. So you have that. Um, what particle followed by day? Uh, if you want to say is it, it'd be uh, t and the particle it, which is, uh, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, uh, I think it's that. Not sure, but you can pretty much determine that. Here's the hard one. Okay, so Zhu, or yeah, Zhu, T, that is, it is, and then this monstrosity here. So we're gonna break it down. It's not hard. Um, so we can go through the through the words. If you don't know what they mean, you can look at the particles. So, she, day, hegi, right? Um, that is a number. So, I don't know what that is quite yet, but let's break down the rest of our rest of our sentence. Here we have, um, she, mu, he, nu, right? So. Sha, that means, that means time, right? And we got that up there. And then we have moon, what does it make? What does that mean? What well, means moon or lunar cycle? And this is ha and this is nu. And I just realized something. I screwed up previously because the number one, right, is nu. So, humga, right? And this says Hanu. So if I go here to January, um, it says Hanu. And if I go to February, um, it says Hato, right? It says new here, but one means GY. Hmm, that's a problem. So I need to go back and fix that. This this says um this says in you which is like um, this means one. This says uh, gy here, which actually means zero. I do believe. I uh, so I fucked up that in the um in the dictionary. So I'm gonna go change that real quick. I remembered that I had screwed it up in the dictionary. I am that good at remembering things. So let's go to, actually we can go from one here. I'm gonna edit, that needs to be new. And I also screwed up six as well. So, set changes. And then I'm gonna change six as well. And I actually need to find out what that is. So, we open up Notepad++ and look down here. And six is goo. Zero is actually do, so that I screwed up. Um, let me go here, edit that. So this is what happens when you're trying to enter in things very quickly, right? Come on, and save changes. Those are all changed. Hopefully. What's going on here? And six. Don't need to change 
change that. I need to change to zero. And then one, which is new. Come on. Try and do it as quickly as I can. Sometimes the slides look really slow. New six is correct. And now another thing to correct, which I screwed up, would be in phrase book where I had said second means new. It does not. Need to actually find the seconds. So that's how new, which is obviously the number one. So that needs to be changed. And actually, is it two? Because that'd be hilarious. Okay, two. Yeah, it's hot two. Or hotto, rather. Wasn't being subtle there at all. I apologize. Let's go back to that sentence. Now that I made that correction. Um. All right. Now that I did screw that up, too bad. This is starting here. It is. We don't know what that means yet. We don't know necessarily what that means yet. But we know this is the time in months. And this is referring to number one. So this is probably the first month of the year, which it is. And then you have uh, a number two one, which means 21. Um, this, the number system in Curetta is not confusing as all at all. Um, you say each decimal or decibel place, um, every tens place. So this would be, 121 this would be um, 2121 although I did tell you before that no particles longer than three care uh, than um, than four four uh, no words longer than four particles that's not entirely correct um, when referring to numbers numbers can be as long as they need to be um, that's the only exception however you could also say uh, 2,000 and then 100 and then followed by that and if you're referring to multiple numbers in a row you can actually say uh, HI is it everything after this point is in the list that's what that that particle means so so you could get get away with saying like I'm just gonna use you this is 121 right which is 121 and this is now um, 121 followed by a list of 121 which would mean uh, two brackets of 121 or 21 uh, to uh, 121,121 so you can go through all that the number system is easy enough to understand I don't know why I did that at all. <laughs> oh, man. Almost halfway done through here. If you sat this long, thank you. You don't have to do that. I'm drinking Coke, if you wanted to know. This is how. Uh, tahu, right? Which means ta, or taha, rather. Taha. How more of an amount and then cost. So this is uh, G2, uh, how much, um, how much uh, am I losing? This means loss to lose or to decrease. So how much am I losing? How much does this cost? Um, this object's cost in a number of dollars. So this is how much this object costs. I cannot afford Tato. 
Um, uh, there is more loss here, which means a forward, than that. Also, expensive. So that is also expensive. That's too expensive for me. Ta Jito, which is, this is, Jito is a cost. This is uh, more or too much cost. It's a very big cost, it's too expensive. Then I'm just going through all the particles. Each each uh, each three particle uh, or two particle or they're fusional concepts. You just treat them as words. You don't have to learn the derivations. I'm teaching you the derivations of those words. That this language is that easy. So this is more than a cost. So those are the roots. More and then cost. A more cost is too expensive. I have this number only. I have only, and how much only do you have? This number is how many I only have. Make sure, yeah, only. So just at that amount. Then this is the word take or to lose. This is the wood question particle that we learned uh, up there somewhere. It's up here actually, I think. Could, would, possible for you to do so. It's all the same. Yep, would take a number you would you take a number? Would you take this many? Can we haggle? So this is can, uh, would, uh, is it possible for you to question particle? This is I and this is um, a number and an object. So can we, or sorry, uh, pa means to change. So prove that, change, it's in the dictionary. Changes in Y. What is P P Y? We'll check. P means to same. Ah, uh, here we go. Can we reach the same number? That's the derivation. So, can the same number, same number, we reach? So that's a haggle. Um, it's approaching the same value. Although, can we change the number? Right? Can we? That would also work, I guess. So, can we change that amount? Can we, you know, those are those are the same. They function fine. Um, can I get a discount? So, is it possible for me to discount me? Um, can you discount me? And this is discount. This is uh, te, which means gain or to. Um, to acquire um, a cost or to decrease or lessen the cost of. I trade um, for this object with you. So can, can I trade for this object with you? So can I trade you for this object? That simple. Um, gi, where, and this is bathroom, which breaks down to the place of body control. So, where is the place of bodily control, which is the bathroom? Um, and you can just say, uh, uh, uh place, play, uh, uh, I can't, I can't hold myself. That's what that means. Uh, where's your bathroom? So if you need to say it quickly. It's a uh, key kiwi. Where is the bathroom? It's downstairs and to the left. So um, that object, it is referring to uh, the bathroom. Uh, fe is down. Or sorry, fe is left. This is downstairs. So this, uh, that object that we're referring to, which was the bathroom, is to the left when you go downstairs. 
this is movement towards the down direction. So you have that. It's easy enough. This is where question particle is location particle place of obtaining or containing knowledge so or mind so gi um uh kigishi is library the place containing information or knowledge of the mind so that's easy enough ju which is it blocks right this is new one part of a larger structure um sorry it is one part of a large specific object that is a structure that holds people this is part of a city and this is city right a structure that holds people is a house so this is house right this is this is shelter so it is a house normally home will be a comfortable shelter so this technically means shelter anything could be a shelter if you want to space say specifically a home you'd refer to uh, if I refer to soft which is usually referred to the comfortable particle or if I hard soft easy Oh, that's why. Le. So, if you're wor referring to just just a home, uh, leva, right, is a home, which is like an an easy shelter, something that you go to. Or there's also the uh, particle that means soft, which means like a comfortable home. Bova is like um, a specific. A specific shelter so if you say a specific shelter that's like a building or a structure that houses people if you got that so far this is a large or order of magnitude something that is a shelter so this that that covers a city that that's what that word means it just means city if you want to talk about the planet Coruscant from Star Wars it's just one really big city that's all that means <laughs> so and then if you say um new if it's at the beginning of a word right if it's the beginning particle of a word it doesn't no longer means one it means a part of or segment of so it's a segment of a city which is a block you got me so far that explains that one word those four particles um has very complex meaning then here um you uh, it's uh, huggy which is th three I'm gonna check that because I screwed up every other number so far and then um, me which is the direction that is east so that means east it also means the direction in which the um, the Sun rises I believe um, also right so if you're turning to the right it's me and if you're going here it's this is to the left this is um, this is in the downward direction or four below, and I know I said that this meant movement downwards, but actually it's all in here, which is uh, foo on the floor below, um, key, uh, which is um, a movement downward, so bodily movement in the downward direction on a level or floor below. That just means downstairs. This means um, this means general movement. Um, I got that confused with MO because, you know, it's move starts with MO. That's actually the left direction, whereas ME is to the right. So, there's that. Um, it is five. Um, now, this is referring to uh, minutes. So, this is uh, to you. Um, this is it number of minutes five minutes and you're walking so it's five minute walk um you 
is it behind you and this is um uh, this is behind and this is immediately this is an immediate it's immediately behind you it's not just it's not just behind you it's it's right there <laughs> if you turn around it's right there um so that's what that that particle means immediately behind where particle question be it would be a an object um, although that refers to name particle so this is i and this is here oh bet also refers to whenever it's um if it's not leading a name or a proper noun it also means to see or to have sight or to look so if you search look it's bet um if it's not leading another particle that is a proper noun it's always going to be either the word name right but if i say um where name i souvenir it doesn't make sense um the context of the sentence will tell you that so you can say where um can i find or see souvenirs it makes much more sense you would use that instead so um again a lot of contextual information based on um on how good you are at delivering that information. This is where can one find a, um, sorry, where find a person, a drink around here. And um, V means water. Um, anything that begins with a V sound is a, um, is a primitive um, need of survival. So V is water. Um, and then VU is uh, food, va is shelter, etc. Um, VV, right, is a specific drink, um, normally alcoholic beverages. Um, so that if you're talking about VV, that is, that's, that's a drink for comfort. It's not necessarily required for survival. Um, you have here, ge, which is that can or would or should you particle. Um, the Wesenu, that means uh, one thing that you could say, a good thing that you can say, one say good thing. So one good thing you can say, it's, it's like, it's the word recommendation. Um, and then you, kivu, a place, ki, vu, a food. So are, you should by now be starting to really understand I'm just saying. <laughs> We're going to go through all as much as we can. Um, ge is do, can you, would you, particle. You, um, jo is you, um, mind or of the mind. Uh, in this case, it means the word no. This is uh, na no. I will be honest. I don't know what particle that is. So I'll have to look that up. Um, this is na, which means, let's break it down, uh, cubeta. What does na mean? Na means all, okay, and no. So, few. So, do you know of, uh, all, no? Okay. Two is, um, less expensive. And key um, shova. So this is va, which means a shelter. Uh, show means to sleep. A place uh, where you can take shelter to sleep, which is a hotel, right? A hotel, a motel, an inn, right? Um, any. Ah, gotcha. Any. Okay. So that is all uh, of few objects. So of any of these objects, that's what that means. Um, now that I broke, now I broke down the rest of the sentence. This is, do you know of any cheap hotels in that order? Because the way the sentence is structured is, um, you know of hotels. What kind of hotels? Cheap. What um, of of what bracket uh, of what kind of hotels? Um, any of the hotels. 
and this is the question particle that goes in the beginning. So this is this is a perfectly formatted sentence for for Kureta, which is really nice. It's just a one-to-one -one translation. I like this, which is I. Um, this is le, which is um, your preference towards something you like or something that is easy to do. This, this object, whatever this is referring to. This is I do not like this. So this is, this is like, and then gule is the opposite of that. So uh, you don't like it. You just like it. You know, do not have a preference towards it. And actually, you can say um, lu also means um, to dislike, um, to hate something. Is lu. Um, but if you don't necessarily hate it, if you just dislike it, um, that is a, a secondary, less extreme form of the word hate. So then you have this again. So uh, that thing that I'm referring to um, is a Boolean not. It's not good. Although Tigu is not necessarily correct. Oh, I you know what I did? Um, see, I put that, and then to make it absolutely correct, I put is. Is not. But it's not necessary correct or wa moral both of these are correct so um ju gu ga which means this is not correct or this is, or um that's not right that's not right you know if you're saying um you know that that letter is not hanging right you say you know that's not right but if you um are saying it morally towards someone dude that's not right kind of deal <laughs> if you're if if somebody's like oh like i don't know stabbing a cat or something stupid um then you say dude that's not right that's the kind of wah you'd have at the end so i i, I included both of those types that is great ta meaning a uh, higher than good means better than good. It's great. It's not good, it's great. It's more than good. It's great. Okay. So, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, you know what, I'll, I'll put the T back then. And there should actually have been a space. I'm going to put that is just to be completionist. It doesn't have to be there. These are perfectly fine. Um, Curetta does prefer three particle sentences because they're actually sentences. Um, the definition of for, uh, for Curetta, Kyrie, both are fine, is if there are less than um, three particles, it's not a sentence because in order to be a sentence, it has to have a subject, a verb, and an object. Um, so, yeah, you know that this is a sentence, this is not a sentence. So you can determine that, as you will. Um, that object is perfect. This is um, not um, less than. So uh, this is there's nothing less. It's perfect. Um, so that's the derivation of that. Uh, uh, woja, which means bad person. That is the word help. Uh, I normally help. There's a bad person. You know, that's that's where that originated from. Bad person. Uh, to help me, help me. Simple enough. Please help me. Um, please help me. Okay, easy enough. Stop. That is an exclamation. Um, in Cubeta, uh, you don't. Uh, you can you can mark ex exclamations uh, through that, um, which technically means the end of a paragraph. Um, however, if it's written on paper and the paragraph keeps continuing without a light line break, uh, it's obvious that it's an exclamation. If um, in the case of speaking it, you just speak it loudly, that makes it an excla exclamation. So there's not really an exclamation mark in Kyrie. So, 
Um, so this is stop. This is literally the word stop. Um, to end or to cease. This that is pronounced chi. So chi. So uh, chi ju um, is stop that thing that you are doing. Um, please stop that thing that you are doing. This is go away from me. <laughs> di, which is uh, D, which means go. Go onward, go towards, do that thing, right? Um, that means all those things. And then Da is uh, away from the current location. Go to or towards something else. Um, so go away. It's easy enough. Um, leave, go, do things. Me, alone, which is gu, which is like affirmative not, um, with other people. So that means not with other people, alone. <laughs> Just go. This, uh, this actually means relationship. Um, so if you're not in a relationship, you're actually single. That also means single. Um, but if you're going to say a single person, right, then it would become an adjective describing a particular person. But if it's at the end of a sentence, it's almost always going to be alone. Um, it's Or you could say, uh, Tommy is single. So Tommy, um, what is Tommy single? And uh, why is he? He just is. So uh, in those circumstances, that could be, you know that. But you could also inference that information by just being told that Tommy is alone. Tommy is by himself. Um, both of those, you're going to kind of have to, um, you're going to have to inference that information. Although you can specifically say, like, um, sa means in a relationship. This is not in a relationship, which means to be alone. If you want to, uh, if you want to make that specific, if you want to say that is specifically not relate relating to a relationship, you can do that. Um, which means this is um, not specifically an object that is a relationship. So you can say um, they are not in a formal relationship. There are levels of depth that you can make to that sentence to make it um, to make it more exact, and that's how Coretta built itself. But uh, leave me alone. It's good enough. What or could you? Uh, like or desire some. This is some. Uh, would you like a little bit? And this is so, which means um, I don't know off the top of my head. I can look it up. So is life. Um, this is the water of life, which is wine. Um, and it, that specifically only refers to the drink that is wine. It does not refer to, um, to beer or anything like that. It only refers to wine. It's one of the few, few um, uh, objects that doesn't have uh, bocivu in front of it. Um, that could potentially mean beer if I decide to include it in, in the language dictionary. Um, but the water of life is wine, or technically juice, but um, it, it should be fine. You should be able to get the meaning of that. Um, a little, or just a little, um, this is little, just a little, please. So, a little, please, and just a little, not not any more than a little. This is, I take, uh, to take or to obtain, uh, I, oh, I take or obtain affirmatively the thing that is the bottle. So I obtained that bottle. Yes, I did. So I'll take the bottle. Uh, can, uh, would you particle, you know, uh, I get a thing for you. So can I uh, get a um, which I, I, I swear to you, 
It is all coincidental. I did not mean that to mean the word get. And this is nagi, which means uh, anything. Um, a tangible object. This is of all tangible objects. Can I get you something? Anything. Um, and then you. Can I help bad person? You. So, got that much. Can you uh, want this object? And that is want, which is va is uh, a shelter, right? But whenever it leads another one of these objects, it means um, a need. And this is less than, so it's it's less than a need, so it's a want. You have the word need down here. So do you need this? Need. And then two is to say you need less than, it's less than a need, it's a want. I need please for that object. So got that. That's it's a number, and that's the, what the number four is. Um, I need uh, where I need good, right? You could, like, you could probably guess that that's a number if they don't say uh, who it, right, or how it, but. You can pretty much discern that they need that. And if they say, by the way, if they say hue, um, if you look um, up here in the list of particles, that just means currently tensive. Um, so currently good, right? Um, if you mispronounce that, somebody could probably discern that you actually meant for. Um, it's not. It's not beyond that scope of reasoning. This is ga, which is just an affirmative yes. It's a boolean true. So yes and please. Got that well enough. You have uh, goo, which means no. Goo, no thank you. Right? Thank is a good something to say. Ge, which is maybe. G, which is I, goo not. And this is uh, ga, which is uh, an affirmative. So sure i am not exactly a yes this would be i will uh, i am not saying yes this is i'm not sure if i will say yes this is god's definitely um do is no so affirmative no and you'll see that this and this yeah yes Definitely, right? They're both affirmatives. Um, we don't make any 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 difference. If you want to say more than yes, you can say taga, right? Which is absolutely positively without any shadow of a doubt, yes. <laughs> Which is definitely, technically, right? If you want to make that kind of dif uh, difference, and this is without a shadow of a doubt, no. I think I'll leave that there just so it doesn't leave any confusion later. This is absolutely without a shadow of a doubt, yes. This is absolutely no ev ever no this is that this is more than a no this is a a negative response that pro will probably lead to aggression kind of no um then you have r um this is r is is you sure are you do you have an affirmative that's a question um t is uh an r particle whenever it's at the beginning of a word unless it uh, like is is this green, for example, it will lead, it'll always lead a sentence if it's a particle. In the, in the exception that it also means, it has a lot of meanings, um, equal to or something like that, if you're referring to uh, something as the middle or in between, because it normally refers to adjectives or, um, or to, uh, to, to modifiers of other words. You're almost never going to see that at the beginning of a sentence unless you are asking a question. Uh, I'm sure there are some situations where that would occur, but I can't think of any off the top of my head, so the, it's probably not going to be that much of an issue later. So we have we, which is uh, good, a be, which means to see or to have a name, um, it, is, and you. So. Uh, uh, 
we have, I'm going to break it down in the, in the order that Kyrie uses its sentences. So the first particle is good, good thing. Be, see, and you. So um, good see you. You already know what that sentence is about. Good see you. Uh, it's good to see you. Okay. Um, but in what way was it good to see you? Um, it was, uh, this is was, so good see you, it was, good to see you, it was, and ju is, um, it was good to see you. So, I mean, there's like, it's so reinforced in that sentence, you can't possibly, like, discern any other meaning from, uh, it was nice to see you, right? That's the only kind of meaning you could ever get from that sentence. Then see you soon is uh, see and then soon you. Now, remember I said before that be when it leads a sentence um, can also mean a name, right? And see, this is a question why, this is a question what. I don't have really have a, a problem with having to deal with be being at the front of a sentence meaning a name because it's only referring to ever proper nouns. So good um, see you and when am I seeing you? Tomorrow. So this is next or after this day. So the next day. See you and this is a time that is after. So this is after today. This is a time that is after now. So this is later. Have a good night. Uh, a good, um, a good, have uh, a good day, right? What do I wish of it? That you have a good day. Uh, then you have goodbye, which is just like the opposite of greeting. So you have ni, which is hello. And you have na, which is goodbye for now, and this is goodbye always for all time. So this is goodbye for all time, and I will never see you again. So that's the phrase book. I'm sorry that took so long. I was just going through everything I could possibly explain to you, and hopefully you have a little more information as to how Coretta works in my head. I, I have a lot of problem putting that into paper, because I'm not a very good um, uh, speaker of things when it comes to languages. I, I was going to school to be a teacher, so I mean, like, there's that. But uh, I have problems. I'm not really a linguist. I'm, I'm really bad at it. Like, I can, I can discern enough to, to fill out my, my chart of language information, right? But I can't give you, like, grammatical charts, or I can't give you, like, glosses. <laughs> I'm completely crap at that. Um, but, you know, for everything else, I, I have a formal language. The language is there. Uh, I just need to build on it a little more. There are, some, uh, there are some instances where you may be confused with two different sentences of information. You can break down pretty much any of my translations, and I'm going to go through one of the translations now. So, one of the translations are here. I had no idea it played it automatically. Okay. So here we have this translation, and it's um, the north wind and the sun. And we will try to break it down best we can. It's all new. Okay. Uh, boha, right? Boha is a specific, um, a specific person that is going to be, this is a specific subject that is going to be the, uh, the north wind, right? That's the north wind, and um, this is, you know, I really don't want to go through that right now. Uh, I got um, just because this is a lot more complicated of a of a story to to translate. So, wo uh, wo is um, a dispute between uh, between people. So this is bad. This is complex. This is talk, and this is ho, which means uh, past. So it was happening in the past, 
and that thing that was happening was a dispute. Um, so you, you can you can discern discern that it's it's not too bad. Um, so if you want to you want to take a look at that, you can. I can I don't have a gloss for it. I do have a pronunciation of it, uh, and I do have a reading. It's all on the site here if you if you are interested. I will see you later. Goodbye, guys.